we go. Hello, hello, hello. Okay. What's up, everyone? about another extra to a brand new episode of Full Houses, episode number two, season number one, our very first night. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed the first episode. Um, you can go to Patreon to get the other episodes extra early if you want them. If not, that's totally cool. So, uh, we got the premiere of Full House, and I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. Um, I never actually sat down and watched Full House. Like, I've seen episodes here or there throughout the years, but it wasn't ever a show on the TGI Friday, like, lineup or anything um, that I watched, right? Like, I didn't really watch the Boy Meets World on the TGI Friday lineup. I watched it on reruns. Um, but, yeah, surprised me about the way that the show was done in terms of, like, this, like the way that the kids are, like Stephanie surprised me. DJ kind of surprised me. Um, Uncle Jesse, I actually think I, his character is kind of interesting as well. Uh, Joey's the only one that I'm kind of meh on based on the pilot. Uh, hopefully he grows on me as a character. Uh, but right now I'm just kind of like, oh, you're just here for slapstick comedic stuff. So, but we'll see. We're going to hop in here every time. Here we go. Like I never I've never heard the beginning of this show. Like that beginning part, that middle part right there? Never. Section, but we change your one third as often. Loving it. No, 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 that's nasty. Michelle Tanner, come on down. That's just nasty. Let's not do that. Hefty bag around her waist. That way we'd only have to change her on trash day. Mm. Sandman Express is coming. Yeah, see, he's good for this, right? Because it's for the kids, but. All aboard! <laughs> Last stop, Stephanie's bed. Thank you, Sandman Express. <laughs> Sandman Express runs every night. If I get out now, will you drop me off at the nearest hotel? Oh, man, DJ. DJ is still trying to get out of here. She is still trying to go. Jesse doesn't know any bedtime stories. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Oh, here we go. He does. No, he doesn't. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> I'll make one up. Whoa. Oh, my God, yeah. She's going to do this shit every time. Steph, you start the story, and you girls point to us when you want something. <laughs> so, the wolf, the moose, the babe, they all Wow. Up, right? They cut the off Joey right away. away. Cool about that sort of thing. <laughs> Dude, even the kids are like, Joey, we don't want your story. And that's the end of the story. Good night and goodbye. Um, no about... monsters, no witches. But that story was very scary. Morning. I'm telling you, they be writing Stephanie some good stuff. Cuddle Duck and the Quack Quack Gang. Wait, what the hell is happening here? Guys, the only way I have a ten thirty slot at the laugh machine. I have to oh, they... to ten o'clock. I'm sorry. Oh, we all have to work. I mean I'm sorry, Jesse. Why not I'm sorry, Joy, or I'm sorry, Danny? Because I have an actual job that pays money. Damn. I bring the gift of laughter into the world. No, you're Yours doesn't count, but you make music songs that touch people's hearts. Once again, comedy kicks music's butt. You know what? I respect they're just running for the door. I can trust you, Jesse. If there's even the slightest problem, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go live your life. Does Jesse had it? Did he have a dreams to be a success in the music? Did he have a gig or did he have practice? Honey Bunny and the wee little Glen. What did he say he had? Practice or a gig? Because if it's a gig, then that's money. If it's practice, then yeah, you you lose. The other two have money. Hi, girls. Girls. Where are they going? What the hell is this? Supposed to be in bed dreaming about Tweety Bird or Big Bird or Larry Bird or something. Uncle Jesse, if we get hungry, Dad always makes sure we have a late night snack. That's bullshit. Oh my God. Ice cream sundaes and chocolate milk. And cookies. Oh my god, they're gonna play they're playing you dog. Alright. I know. I'm pretty hip here. You guys think I'm a I'm an idiot or something? <laughs> a little bit. They don't wanna say it, but I know what's going on here. Your dad's gone and it's let's take advantage of the babysitter time. Yeah, pretty much. 
Your Uncle Jess is a little too sharp to be taking on that kind of... Hey, my name is Bella. That's enough, Jumbo. Let's do the hand drive. Okay. But I can't Dude, they ate anything. all of the ice cream, bro. They never sleep again. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Sure gives you a lot of pep, huh? Does pep mean you can't blink? <laughs> That's blink, mine. He'd say we're really lucky I have a chance to listen to the greatest rock band in the world. <laughs> oh, yeah, you put it that way. Yeah, okay. Oh, my God. They are... Hair. Could you show me how to do that? Sure, it's real easy. Just sprays right up. sense. Boy, are you strict. Girl, it is about to be midnight, and you're eating pizza and listening to a rock band. I mean, I'm pretty sure there was a garage, guys. You don't, but I guess you don't want to be outside. Maybe. Oh my God, they're. <laughs> what the, brother? You get here, you see the kids, and you party with them. Oh my God, we're gonna get in so much trouble. I just got here. I just got here, bro. Boy, are you gonna get it. <laughs> Brother, you joined in though. <laughs> oh my God, yo, this is insane. Like, I don't even know. Solid gold farm team. That's a solid joke. That's a solid joke. Girls, get back over here. You're oh, just as much DJ is up. smart as shit. DJ is yeah, smart. Kind of like. Um, it's not the girl's fault. It's mine. I invited the band over. I woke the girls up. Oh, wow. I ordered pizza. I was throwing wow. a party. I needed chicks. <laughs> <laughs> Baby alert. Baby alert. You girls get Michelle. Oh, honey, it's okay. I mean, she slept through the she slept through the music. You actually woke her up with your yelling. Michelle's getting a new tooth. Oh, that Aww. really hurts. I had nothing to do with it. Being a knifing its way through your soft, tender, inflamed gum tissue. All right, brother, calm down. Calm down. It's a tooth. <laughs> I say we buy her a pony. <laughs> Sometimes the teething ring helps. I mean, we got to teach them, so this is a good way to do it. She loves it. Not a lot, apparently. Is this anything like catching the bouquet? Am I the next one to have a baby? <laughs> some, of the, some of Joey's jokes are solid. Right, excuse me, fellas. Let me it's, in, some of it's solid. All right, little munchkin. Where does it hurt? We don't know where that hand has been. Well, your brain's not working tonight, but your finger's doing great. <laughs> we don't know where that hand has been. One of Michelle's teething rings in the freezer. I'd like a word alone with the alleged babysitter. I mean, you you did kind of tell him last minute. Singer's phone number. Yeah. See, some of his jokes are solid. Well, well. You kind of well, well, last minute at it though. What? 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 Get in the bed. Your bed. Come on, Stephanie, get it together. We gotta think on the fly. Girls, are you awake? Dad, is that you? <laughs> oh. Good morning. Oh my God, that's so. <laughs> oh, they try, bro. I respect the try, though. We have a problem with Uncle Jesse. Respect the try. We didn't have any problems with Uncle Jesse at all. Uh oh. Huh. Empty bowls Psst. and empty cartons. Hey, he said. Oh, oh he said no cookies. Uncle Jesse forced ice cream sundaes and chocolate milk. Yeah. Probably about it, because otherwise you'd be lying. Yeah, exactly. Better than that, don't you? Yeah. Well, that does it. I guess asking Uncle Jesse to move in here was just a big mistake. Mm. Feels great to be in a real house with real people. Mm. Right, Leon? 
<laughs> See, some of his jokes work. <laughs> some of them, though. Like, he's a bit extra sometimes, but some of them are solid, yeah. It's time to go to bed. <laughs> so Stephanie has her own room. I mean, so Michelle has her own room. I mean, I'm guessing that after a certain couple years that they're going to move Stephanie into that room with Michelle, right? Because DJ will be like in like high school or something. Um, all right. Well, either way, that was a great for our second episode. Uh, you know, um, I understand where Danny was coming from in terms of, uh, in terms of like being upset, but at the same time, you, you, you told them about babysitting last minute. Like, I feel like there's a talk that needs to happen to determine, who is going to take care of the kids way before that so that that situation doesn't happen? Like, Danny just kind of expected that he had to work and the boys are just going to be there. I feel like a talk needs to be had. Um, but, you know, I thought the episode was pretty good. Solid, solid jokes. The kids continue to surprise me. Uh, Michelle and, uh, not Michelle, uh, Stephanie and DJ continue to surprise me with the comedy. Uh, this episode for me was a better episode for Joey. Um, I didn't really. I, I, Joey's gonna probably be hit or miss depending on the episode, uh, with like the, the voices and stuff. I'm not like a huge fan of the voices and stuff, but some of his jokes worked and some of his comedy was solid. Um, I thought Jesse was really good and the heartwarming thing at the end worked for me. With uh, Danny kind of saying like you know he really loves the girls and you know especially with like his wife being gone and how he has to deal with it and everything. You know, I I fully understand like. Like that, he needs to make sure that the girls are safe. Um, the bunny rabbits thing was adorable. The the fact that the girls told Jesse about like about the ice cream and the cookies and the cake or in the uh, milk and all that, and in the end he was like, "All right, well they want three things, I'll give them two, and they'll really feel it." Like, he, he doesn't know how to punish them and stuff, which I think is funny. The girls essentially just have to say something, and then it would just cave. Um, Nothing as crazy heartwarming as the first episode with the speech with DJ. Like, I fully understand that, you know, DJ's thing. Even in this episode, she literally wanted to run away again. She talked about, like, can the train drop me off somewhere? Like, what did she say? Let me see when it was right here, right? hotel like this girl does not want to share a room with her sister um but you know i thought it was fun um yeah everybody does their role well um and the comedy works and i think the show is pretty well paced so hopefully you guys enjoyed it I'm gonna get out of here talk to you guys later